Oh my goodness. Oh well. Uh, we might actually lose the Emperor in if we knock the Emperor. No, it seems that we uh, managed to feed it in time. Okay, cool. Right, that may... Well, we've got a long way to pull ourselves back up now. Having lost so many fish. So, so quickly. That is that is quite a hefty blow. Thank you. Let's get the toy shop. Now then, what kind of fish do we have that we don't have represented in the aquarium so far? Probably going to be the cold water fish, actually. Oh no, we've got the long hung cowfish. Um, might even actually be able to go in there. Oh, actually, the cowfish can go in either one. Sure, let's pop one in each. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I just realized what I just did. You leave. Si fish with size 9. What are you? You're only size 8. Drat, damn it, blast. You're fine in there, though. So, afraid you're going to have to move over until you've grown, and then you can move back. At least I caught it this time. Small mercies. Not for the fish, of course. No mercy for them. They're just going to get gobbled up. Set this place out like so. And sure. Okay, that's going across there. This will be a decent little area. We'll start her off with a wall though. And a staff door. Alright, what's going down? They've grown. Good, good. Uh fixing. I wouldn't mind giving you feeding, but. Fixing is cool. Getting you really, really uh, leveled up with that would be great. Right, so, cold water... How big is this? Can I make it bigger? Don't know. No. That doesn't look like it. It looks like this is the shape this tank is, and that's just it. Hmm. The new tank is a larger version of the Lagoon tank, and is useful for filling the end of a room, while the U increases the number of viewing locations. Maybe. Let's have a think about this one then. We could do away with my original plan there. Have all of these gone. And have the U tank over here instead. It isn't strictly the right thing for what we're, we're doing, but I like the idea of it. Let's go ahead and pop this down. Can't increase its size at all. Interesting. Let's shunt it down a little bit. Okay. That's going to give us quite a lot of viewing space, at the very least. Yeah. Have this there. We'll also have some balloons as well. And then we could tuck away the staff room for manning the pump here. Just over here. I think that would work out quite nicely, actually. And we can draw this wall back in. Staff door. I think we're going to make this one a cold tank, as mentioned previously. Seems that that's one of the main things that we don't have as many fish here. Now, size 5 to 9, but it's got an armor of 10, so we're going to drop in a couple. There we go. Or a few, I suppose. Um, you will eat crustaceans of size 3 or less. When you grow up, I don't think you can eat them. I'm not sure, but you will also hurt starfish, which would really suck. Uh, this likes food competitors. Cannot be housed with other species that eat mussels. Ah. Ah. That sucks. Okay, well, I guess you're going to be in here then. There we are. And... Well, I mean, you are a pretty nice fish to pop in there, but... Crustacean is of size 2. I could get two of these in there easily. Is there anything else I would like to pop in there? 
And like, the Atlantic mackerel wouldn't be bad. Oh, you need a lot of room. So no, no on that one. Maybe two of you though. Let's just have one actually. Okay, so with that all done, let's first address the obvious concerns and that is to get the caves sorted. One rocky outcropping should take care of that. Then let's get some greenery in there as well. Along with some kelp. There. Now we need all of these types of food. So sandy. This is an annoying tank, unfortunately, but uh, so sand eels. Cockles, mussels, and supplements. There we go. And finally, I don't need it to be that cold. So I think two large chillers will do. So I'll find the, the pump. Um, sure, if I place this here. And what we can do with the setup is I can have the large chillers on either side like so. Takes care of the uh, the water temperature. Then I can add in large nitrate reactor along with large double filter. And that should bring... Yeah, we're fine now. Okay. And just to make it a little bit easier to fix this one... And go ahead and put a tool dispenser right here. There we go. Excellent. I should drive a couple more people in this direction now. They'll check out the the tank on their way. That should help us out with prestige quite a lot, actually. Adding a new tank is probably the easiest way of getting your prestige up a bit. By far, in fact. Just getting uh, a few more species of fish around that haven't been seen too much before. It makes a massive, massive difference. I would actually like my guests to head in this direction while they, when they reach this intersection. If I can force them in that direction, it would be great. What on earth is going wrong? Oh, what's wrong? Three days! How have they not been fed in three days? Well, the problem is it takes so much feeding. There's so many fish that require that same food in here that the, some of them just don't get it in time. No, come back! Oh, it's run out. Oh, that's wretched. Okay. Fair enough. I'm going to change some things around them. There we go. And I'm going to place in a second herring dispenser for this, uh, given that I've got so many tanks here that require it. Oh dear, that, that poor fish is going to die. We're just not feeding it fast enough. But at least now they don't have to wander off so far. So we, we might be able to help them. We'll see. We'll, we'll watch this one through. Next one up, uh, we'll go for the mega chiller. will be this one. I think. Oh, maybe not. Come on. Just a little bit more. Just need a bit more herring. No, we've lost it. Well, oh, and on that note, <laughs> we've got enough prestige. Apparently, everyone loved seeing that fish die. The monsters that you are. Okay. Uh, so, we've got the tasseled wobble gong shark. The large tunnel. I like it. Uh, Tassel Wobble Gong Shark, please. And what do we get at the next overview? Right, we've got nothing at the next overview. So we've, we've got everything we need. The Starry Smooth Hound is probably going to come from a... Um, a quest, and I'm, I'm going to take it. Claire is leveled up. Please get feeding up a little higher, Claire. That is definitely the thing that we need almost right now. Oh, we should actually get hold of that pretty quickly, which is impressive. Really. 
Uh, right, let's go ahead and paint this little area. There we go. Why anyone comes to this aquarium, considering how many of our fish died, no idea. Oh, well. Uh, Atlantic Pollock has grown. It can now eat. Ha 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 ha. Fish of size 6. Any in there that I need to worry about? I don't think so. Oh, no. Damn it. Um, can I move you? You're size 16, so I think I can. I'll just pop you over there for a bit. I'm gonna have to move you back. No, 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 no. That's not working for you. What are you lacking? Um, okay, the cold water isn't high enough now. Oh! Drat! I thought... Shh! You saw nothing. Nothing. Nothing happened. Never. I'll pop you over here, will you be alright? They'll eat crustaceans, they're size 11, you will eat fish of size 6. Yes, okay. So that's fine, you can live there for now. My lord! Never put me in charge of an aquarium! Please! Don't do this to me! Don't make me kill all of these fish! You have the power to save them! Ah, my lord. Uh, okay, so we're just basically wasting our- Actually, ecology points are now the, the thing that we need. So, let's switch over to the Southern Stingray Talk, please. And thank you. Oh, we're already doing that. Never mind. But they're gonna get annoyed because they're getting too much of the same talk. Uh, do the unicorn surgeon fish, please, instead. Oh, yeah. But it looks like we're going to need another gigantic tank soon. Dante has leveled up. Fantastic, Dante. Yeah, it's the being a better cleaner. That is super, super important. We have many opportunities for you to clean. Okay, growth time. Wow, it takes uh, up to 24 after 7 days. We'll eat fish of size 4 or less. Alright. Need crabs. You might fit in this tank. Now, we've got a wolf fish. We've got a fish eating animal. What? That's amazing. The blonde skate. Um, I would like to get some more emperor angel fish. I feel so, super bad. Please give them back. I feel super bad. Uh, right, let's have a look. Uh, there we go. Our fish have grown. Which means one of you can move over there. Where it will be safe. There we are. Size uh, 18, effectively, and you can only eat them when they're a size 9. Alright, what's the matter? Oh, you just haven't been fed. Uh, I say with a, with a certain casualness that makes me shudder. Uh, right. A large channel tank sounds amazing, but... Right, gonna get you... And I would like you managed. Flick. Oh, well, cleaning is something I would really... There we go. Let's get... Well, you need to help out a little bit over here, please. Let's get you in there. Let's just help out a bit. Thank you. Two so about threes have grown. They can now eat tank meats of size seven. Should be okay. Oh. Wait. Uh, Alright. I kind of feel like I just need to risk it now. It's right rather annoying. Got a bit of room in these tanks, so. Um. I could move you guys over for the time being. You know what would be better, actually? Just moving them across. They should be safe there. Double check. We don't have enough caves, but I can easily increase that. So let's make sure there are enough caves, at least in here. This one across. I'll add in rather large one as well. There we go. That should take care of them. And then we'll move them back as soon as they grow. Then that's going to be the best way to, to approach that one. 
Now, how's this tank doing? It's got plenty of room still, actually. Now, my fish here, yeah, they're not doing great because they need more food all the time. So much more food all the time. But at least they are getting fed. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and have a look at this new shark then. Where are you? Please be another cold water shark. No. Uh, sorry, uh, another warm water shark, rather. Uh, right. Need 11 caves. That's going to be a tall order in there. Oh, actually... No, no it won't. It shouldn't be too bad. Alright. Can anything in there eat you? And... Okay. Should be alright. Let's make sure that we can get to the 11 caves, though. Because this is a quite a jam-packed full tank at this point. Uh... I should be able to manage it easily enough. Let's get rid of one of these. There we go. And then add in just this by itself. Takes us up to enough, I would imagine. And let's get the tassel wobble gong shark. Let's have a read of this, because that's an amazing name. This canny ambush predator lifts its fringed head from the substrate to create a cave to ensure unsuspect uh ensnare unsuspecting Prey. To entice larger meals, it uses its tail as a lure, hooking it over and waving so it resembles small fish. That's amazing. I like you. You may live here. Excellent work on adding a tasseled wobblegong shark. Here is your reward. A green turtle. Uh, Alright. That sounds pretty cool. I like it. Uh, it's going to need a cold tank, though, I should imagine. Maybe when they have... There we are, they've grown. Amazing! Rachel has leveled up. Let's go and take care of you, Rachel, actually. Let's do that again. Uh, sure, yeah. Let's get that going. Uh, you can now eat animals of size 5, which is fine. Nothing in here is size 5, so you can live there fairly happily, I would imagine. Now... Let's have a look at you. Green turtle, where do you live? Pop you in there. Let's just make sure that you don't... You are okay. Oh, you actually want warm water? Oh, well, I suppose so, when you think about it. Uh, 25, though. We've got enough room. We've got an armor of 20. Sure. Okay, then. Pop you in there. There you go. You can enjoy. Alright, let's have a look at the last quest then. The Starry Smooth Hound Enclosure. We hear that you're interested in the Starry Smooth Hound for the aquarium. We're able to supply you with one, but you must first prove that you're able to take care of it. Starry Smooth Hounds need a large, rounded tank and enjoy the company of smaller fish. Build a suitable tank and we'll happily provide you with the livestock. Very well. I'll get to work on the tank. I should already have that? Oh no, I need one more animal, and the point value of... Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, what is the Starry Smooth Hound? Is it cold or warm? Hmm. And suddenly, I need more plants. Ah, <laughs> drat. Drat, damn and blast. Uh, Alright. Let's have a look at you then. Uh, you can move down here. And we will add in... Another... Ooh. Where's the... There we are. Perfect. Let's get that down. I need a little bit more. Sure. It's actually turning into quite a lovely tank, I've got to be honest. I'm really liking this one. Very colourful. Very, very colourful. I need an extra animal. There is no way that I can get the ecology point value that I need for that one. So, perhaps... We're going to have to go for another round of tank down here. That, or we add one up top. Hmm, I think maybe we do. I'm thinking that's where we're going to be going for. Let's get the... 
the wolf fish. All right, let's have a quick reshuffle of our items over here. Um, actually, I've already got balloons there, though. Really, I shouldn't have that up there. Let's pop the balloons down there. Makes a little bit more sense. There we are. Oops, slightly wrong place then. That'll do. Right, let's get a gigantic tank over here. We'll also expand things out a little bit more on this side so I can get another filter. So we want a... Not a small tunnel tank, we want a Belfast tank. The biggest Belfast tank that we can make. Of course it's one too big. Uh, if I'd only paid attention... I would now be stuck with my brain itching a little bit. Um, that said, sure, I'm up to the challenge. Let's move this back a little bit more. Hmm. Problem is, is I don't want them necessarily wandering around the other side of it, really. And it would it would irritate me way too much, and I know that is silly, but it is who I am. Damn it! Uh, right, let's get you back there. Some stairs leading down. So, and we orient them. Actually, we'll do a little wall right around, including a door. Oh yeah, it's quite nice, I think. I mean, it's not really giving us a lot of room to play with on this side, but I'm sure we can make something work. Uh, let's draw this area up. Probably have another fish tank there, maybe. Uh, for the time being, though, let's just uh, rotate these around. Now, can I have a look at the zones? Um, nice window, toggle walls, toggle tasks. No, I want to see the zones. Warnings. Hmm. Is there nothing that allows me to see that? Oh, well. Uh, let's have a look at the zones. Um, are there zones over there? I don't think so. Let's work back. Is there nothing to highlight it? Oh, no, I can see there's no zone there. Okay. That's... There must be a better way of doing that. I, I refuse to believe that that is how it, you're meant to do it. Right, so we want four different animals in here. And we want to have ecology points from them. So, got a decent amount there from the unicorn corn surgeon fish. Let's have a look which ones would be the best. Cold or hot? Uh, quite a lot there for the shark. Quite a lot there for the leopard shark. And why don't these count? Hmm. I would have thought this would be okay. No, no, it's not. Really? Hmm. Oh. I see. It, it isn't counting that because we haven't got all the species in, the, in here. Right, yo. So, we just need an extra species in there. So, we've got horse jacks, leopard sharks, uh, the tasseled wobblegong shark, and the green turtle. We need one more large enough animal that isn't easily going to be eaten. I would say you would do, but I'm not entirely certain you would. Perhaps you would be okay in there, though. Let's try, shall we? There we are. Sufficient chilling. Ugh. That's actually not particularly nice. Okay, gonna have to get rid of you, I'm afraid. 
we do need it to be a chilled tank. I wasn't reading that far down. Alright, well, that's kind of a good thing for us then. Simply because that means that these tanks can be hooked up together. Just slightly out of range. Right? That, of course, now means I need to move everything across. On the plus side, it does also mean that uh, I've got a three path on that side now as well. Right, I need you to connect up. There we are. Now I need a little bit more cooling going on. Alternatively, of course, I can just build a new pump. So let's take care of that one. Yeah, that's there. Hook it down. I'm going to go for a mega chiller. Across. Uh, that should be enough, but again, we will go with a smaller chiller as well. Just to err on the side of caution with that. Uh, in fact, I'm going to sink this mega chiller back a little bit. Oh, yeah. Right, so, sufficient chilling will be there. I need five different cold water species that produce ecology points. You do not. You do. You do. Any others? Oh, there are not many of them do, actually. Oh, okay, so the pie crust crabs and common starfish do as well, but we can probably get that a little bit better if we could just fill this with Atlantic mackerel, frankly. Um, and that might not be a bad idea. Six of them? Sure. Yeah. We can drive it a little bit further if we want. Uh, we kind of need a little bit of everything. Uh, this one's going to be size three. Let's get one. So that's two species now. Now at this point, this tank is producing enough ecology points, so I don't need to worry about any more of those. Could have you in here. Sure, just to liven it up a little bit. Let's just get close that down for a second. Oh, Trent, you can't get to that chiller. My bad. Let me move these along then. There we are, that's a bit better. Uh, in terms of the water quality, though, they're fine, but we do need a much higher water quality, so let's go ahead and move all of the food across. And we can build out, once again, in much the same way. Okay, oh, no, actually. Whoa. That's really tempting. I'll be honest with you, it's very tempting. In fact, it is so tempting, I'm going to put it. Move you across, and then this gigantic beast of a machine there. There we are. Now, we've currently got three different species in here. I need some more rocks, though. Let, let's build that up now, rather than, than later. Go ahead and pop down some rocks right there. There we go. So next, we want... Let's have a look. Again, it wouldn't really matter having you in there. You'll only need crustaceans, so it might actually be worth our time. And... Let's see, we could have... Nah, I'm, I'm leaning away from you, but I wouldn't mind having a cook of grass in there. And there we go. Perfect. We've checked the tank, and we're delighted to say that it looks perfect for a starry smooth hound to move in. We're happy to supply you with a baby starry smooth hound now. Find them in the livestock section of the build menu. Thanks to the tank you've built them, they'll grow up very happy. Are we sure about this? Uh, yeah, actually. That does look like they'll get on with the fish that we've got there. Ah, oh, fantastic! We have succeeded! Uh, right, livestock of the build menu. That was an odd way of saying it, but sure. Womp! There we go! We've completed it! Nicely done! Despite the owner's restrictions, you've managed to fulfill their wishes and create an aquarium of an epic proportion. I'm not sure about that. Epic death, maybe. Now, for something a little different. Have you ever wished for a more bijou assignment? 
your wish is granted in uh, Le Dufon. You can continue to build here at Myra for as long as you want. This message will stay in your inventory, blah, blah, blah. Uh, when you're ready, we can move on. Well, as it happens, I want to make sure that this tank is at least sufficient for the fish that we're going to have in it. And also looks nice. There we go. Let's get down. Sure, let's pop in a little bit of greenery in there. I really like the way the other tank ended up looking. It looked really beautiful. Uh, pop that down. With a tank this size, though, I definitely think we need something a little bit more interesting. Well, maybe a column over there. Yeah, sure. Maybe a lantern or two. Just a couple dotted around. Just to illuminate the tank a bit. On this central area, we can definitely have an anchor. Maybe a sunken cannon as well. Uh, no, I, I'm not. I'm not too keen on the sunken cannon specifically. But that looks nice. All right, let's unfreeze and go in first person mode. Oh my lord! I do, do like the way that looked. I mean, obviously this area is kind of barren. But this is a lovely tank here. Really, really nice tank. But yeah, uh, you know which one I want to go and look at now. Ah, uh, looks okay down there. That's alright. You know what? That ended up looking quite good. I wasn't sure about it from the way it looked from top down. A little confection stand there. But it does look really, really nice in first person, in my opinion. Ah, we didn't put any popcorn there. Oh, well, I think that's fine. People just wandering around with bunches of chocolate. I dislike being able to see in there. I don't know why, but that, I really don't like that. I like to have all of the machinery actually hidden. You're just looking at back at a, a large, large wall. I don't, I don't know why that's okay. Like why the uh, the guests don't really care when they can see it. But look at this tank. This is a beautiful one in my opinion. You look very happy in there, in, stuck in the stone. Oh, I like this one a lot actually. One of my best tanks designs so far, I'd say. Particularly looking there. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. And in fact, this aquarium. I really do hope you've enjoyed the journey through it, including the trials and tribulations of a bunch of my fish tank. Oh, my lord. Some of that was very much down to derpitude. But uh, I think a good chunk of it was me learning how to better manage my staff. I mean, I, I already had some ideas of how, how best to, to manage them, and, or rather specifically that I was going to need to start managing their zones a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I've definitely got a better idea now of, of when I need to step in and take care of that. Oh, what's wrong? Are you just really hungry? Uh, I can't actually tell. What's the matter? Oh, cannot grow until requirement fulfilled. Ah, all right, okay. But that's gonna be it from me for now. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be joining me for the next Aquarium, where I may be back by from TwitchCon by the time this uh, episode goes live, so uh, we might be seeing that very soon, but if there's a couple of days break after the last of these episodes go live, understand that's the reason why most likely that I, I'm still at TwitchCon or, or just arrived and I'm recovering. Probably have the con flu, you know how it goes. But that's gonna be it for this one. So until next time, and as always, do leave a like if you liked, sub if you haven't already, and I'll see you around. Take care, everyone.